The workbench. Workbench. All right, this is a really, this is one of those kind of obscure things, but it's interesting. That's I, my whole life. This and I ran into this again this obscure, week. because uh, This was based again on a, a customer stopping and with problems. Um, now, what you'll, this is kind of going to be for old school people. Because what I've got here are two different bobbins. Now, I, there's a third bobbin option that I don't have for a long arm. But for a Paper. sewing machine, you're going to have two options. There's a plastic bobbin and a metal bobbin. Now, in a long arm world, you have plastic bobbins, metal bobbins, and there's steel bobbins. Oh, we, I was going to thought you were going to say cardboard. Um, yeah, pre-wounds. some cardboard. And, and, and what I'm about to explain to you does also apply to pre-wounds. This is a very interesting, it's what they call backlash. And this is why if you're one of those people that's like, I only going to use steel bobbins because they're steel bobbins and they're the best, it might not be the best for your machine. There's physics. This is a fun physics lesson. You know why? Because these, well, both of these are the same size. One of these weighs more than the other. Can you guess which one? It's going to be the metal one. The metal I, one? The metal weighs more than the plastic. No way. And now this, in all honesty, is, doesn't seem like a big deal. You put them in your hand, you might be able to feel the difference in weight. And it may not seem like a big issue um, when you're just thinking about it. But let me give you a, a very interesting um, example of what happens. I'm going to put this. Now, most bobbin cases are drop-ins now. This is actually a long arm case so that I can show this to you. Um, I really like the. Let me see if I can do this. The side ones. So if you, I'm going to put, put it right here because I don't want you looking at my, my nasty chin. Right about there. How does that look? Yeah, he wants us to show off his, his, his T-shirt. I, I, no, okay. So watch what happens when I pull this with a little bit of speed. Just want, look, look inside. You're going to look right inside there. You see oh, that? you made a mess. Made a mess. Now, there's, there's a backlash spring in here. When you put this in your machine, this gets put down, and there's a spring that keeps that from happening on a long arm. You don't have that on a regular sewing machine. Huh. But you're holding it upside down. I'm holding it upside down, but now watch what happens. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with a plastic bobbin. I'm going to pull it the same way I just did that one. Watch what happens. So you're going to look inside here again. It didn't overspin nearly as no, much. No, it did not. Because it weighs less, that inertia of spinning it, it stops quicker. Now, like I said, in a, in a long arm machine, if you look in here, there's a spring. So that, the heavier so, you are, the longer it takes you to stop. If you, yes. <laughs> so in a long arm machine, this spring presses it. And actually, this is a backlash spring. Without the spring in a long arm, you will have messes every time it stops and changes direction. That, um, that's what this Want to race later? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but that's, uh, so that's the importance of using the proper bobbin. So if you've got a machine that was designed to use steel bobbins, it will probably use plastic bobbins without an issue because the inertia, you're not going to have that backlash issue. If you have a machine that was designed to use plastic bobbins, you may find that steel bobbins cause oh, problems happy. you get tangles and things start to happen Gosh, because every so time you stop the, go wrong. every time you stop the machine if you're if you're cruising along at a high speed and you stop the machine and you have a steel bobbin instead of a plastic that extra inertia may over rotate and you get a, a jumble in your bobbin so that's just like i said that is just a quick it's a real weird minor thing but i see this a lot that's also the reason why a lot of times you find a lot of success with pre-wound bobbins because pre-wound bobbins especially like the cardboard ones they don't have any weight aside from the thread. The plastic pre-wound bobbins um, tend to have a thinner shell, so there's not a lot of extra inertia, so you're not worried about over-rotation. Like I said, machines are designed to take that into account by the way it sits in the bobbin hole, but if you're, if you're using the, a, a steel bobbin when your machine was intended for a plastic, you may run into these occasional problems just because it's, it, was, it was designed for, because physics, inertia. Now, I don't remember where I saw this, but um, several shows ago, we learned from Brent that we shouldn't use our pre-wound bobbins more than once. And I confessed I did. I had been loading them. And uh, he said, thou shalt not do that, Becky. And I've been much better at tossing them in the trash, which is really sad. But do you know they just, somebody, I wish I could remember where, unless I dreamed it, came out with pre-wound bobbins that are reusable. Yeah, they probably just put them on regular plastic. Yeah, so so now, it's something for you, for people like me who don't want to throw away my bobbin, uh, there are 
pre-wound reusable bobbins out in the world and, today. And I cannot remember who. I, I don't know if we covered it at the, when we were talking about that, but I was, I'll just cover it again when we're talking about bobbins. Bobbins wear out. Plastic bobbins, metal bobbins, they will all wear out. And the easiest way to check your bobbin, it's you can do this on a regular machine. You put it in the bobbin case, and this was spring loaded. I don't know, yeah, you got that idea. This one is spring loaded, so it's sticking up a little bit. But when I press it down, it go it's underneath the top lip of the case. If you have a bobbin, especially metal bobbins, you start to see is they'll start to spread over time. So even when you press it down, it still sticks up a little bit. What do the plastic ones do? Plastic ones usually just break. Oh. So a plastic, but even plastic ones will start to spread a little bit. And if they spread to the point where they're really they're above the lip of your your, your bobbin case, oh. you you will start to have problems. Now you, you've got to. Uh, Admittedly, you've got to be using them for quite a while. I usually see this more on steel bobbins because somebody's inherited it from their great aunt who had inherited it from their mother. So you've got this steel bobbin that's been in circulation for 50 years. And for some reason, it doesn't work. It's because it's spread out. It's, yeah. um, and you'll run into this more with bobbins with um, finer threads because you can pack a finer thread in there and that's going to spread it out more. Um, so if, you're, if your tension is too tight, if you tension on your bobbin winder is too tight and you're using like an Invisifil or a deco bob that's really thin, that will um that can spread your bobbin. So just be aware of that bobbin spread. Interesting.